Did you know that vaccine misinformation is a global health crisis? And a British doctor lit the fuse in 1998. His name was Andrew Wakefield and his weapon was fraud, research fraud. He published a paper in Lancet, which is a very reputable scientific journal, a study of just 12 kids. That's actually a case series claiming a link between MMR vaccine and autism. But here's the plot twist. It wasn't just wrong. It was fake, deliberate, and dangerous. I'm a late diagnosed autist, a researcher, and an entrepreneur, and I discuss autism research here. I also have a Substack article about this, and we'll leave the link here. Wakefield didn't just make up errors. He made up data. He altered medical histories, misreported diagnosis, and fabricated timelines. None of the children's actual records matched what he published. And the result was catastrophic. The impact reverberating even now. There was a nosedive in vaccine trust in the UK vaccination rates dropped below 80%. Measles surged back. By 2008, it was an endemic and we went from near eradication to emergency rooms full of preventable disease. Across Europe, France, Italy, and Romania, the measles outbreaks exploded. And in the US, despite eliminating measles in 2000, Wakefield's lies helped trigger the 2015 Disneyland outbreak. Yes, Disneyland. Wakefield didn't just lose his license, he gained followers. He became a hero to the anti-wax movement. His fraud metastasized into a cultural virus. Celebrities amplified it, later so social media gave it wings. And by the time COVID hit, the seeds were already planted. When people say, well, I just don't trust the science, ask yourself, who break that trust? The answer, a man who faked a study for fame and profit and left a trail of disease, death, and doubt in his wake. And here's the kicker. Real science has spent decades investigating autism. The evidence is clear. Autism is primarily genetic. Rare mutations, polygenic risk, complex neurodevelopment, not vaccines, not thimerosal, not some global conspiracy. Wakefield's paper was retracted. The truth is published, but the damage has been permanent. That's still spreading and the battle for public health. That's our autistics fight.